Today's gonna be the day we're gonna win the league. By now you should have somehow realised that we're the best team in the county of Norfolk. I don't think that anybody thought we'd do it at the start of the year, but look at us now. Backbeat, the word in the boardroom was a couple of defeats and I'd be out. We've heard it all before, but you never really had a doubt. I don't think that anybody thought that we'd do it at the start of the year, but look at us now. And all of Mbala's runs down the left are winding. And all of Marriott's 44 goals to get us up are blinders. There are many things that I would like to ask the board for, but I don't want to get sacked. Because maybe Marriott's gonna be the one that saves me. And after all, you're my goal scorer, Adam Marriott. Awful. Sorry for that, people. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 22 of the Kingsley Walks to Prem Save here on Football Manager 2020. And yep guys, as you heard in that very awesome intro, which I hope you all loved, today could indeed be the day we're gonna win the league because we have got not one, not two, but three attempts at it. I will bring you all three games if it takes us three games to win the league. We're starting off today with a game against Hales Owen. They are 15th in the league. We can win it today if we beat Hales Owen and Boston fail to beat Kidderminster. If we can do that, then we are champions today. If not, then we will play the game against Chester and we will try and win it there. And then if not, last game of the season, Murphy Tidville. And so, yep, let's see how we've been getting on since you was last with me for the 5-1 demolition of Nunny and Borough in the last video. That was a very beautiful performance. Great, great performance. If you've not seen it, go and check it out on the video before this one. And then after that, we played Barrow and they got a man sent off in the sixth minute. 2-0 win there. George Brown and Marriott with the goals. Just going to go through these quickly, just because, like I say, we might have three games for you today. So I don't want the video to be blooming four hours long. And so then after that, we had a very disappointing performance against Colville. Colville were bottom of the table. Are they still? Yes, they are. So they're bottom of the table, but we were unable to beat them. It took us 70 minutes to get through their defence. But then they equalised right at the end to punish us for not being able to kick on and get a second or a third like how we should have done. And then following on from that, we had a beautiful month of March. Curzon Aston with a 4-0 win against them. Kettering, we beat them 2-0. Life, we beat them 3-2 in a really back and forth game, that one. That was one where I thought the title race might just swing back into Boston's favour. But we was able to get a win there. So that was a very, very good result. And then the game I was going to bring you against Gloucester. That game was supposed to be before the Kettering game. But it got called off on the day for a waterlogged pitch. So it got rearranged, so I thought we'll just play the last few games of the season, see us win it, and hopefully win it. I'm talking before anything's happened here. I'm probably cursing myself. But anyway, Gloucester game, 3-1 win, very good performance there again. And then South Shields in the latest game, 1-0 win, very disappointing performance again. Very disappointing. We had to go 4-4-2 for the last 20 minutes. Tom Fielding came on and with one of his first touches of the ball, he got us the winner, which really has put us in a dominant position in the league. Because like I say, this is how the league table 
is looking now. We are on 95 points, four away from Boston. Please let today be the day. Let's go and jump straight into the first team seat of the day. And this is how the team is looking. We've got Barnes in goal, Wilson at left back, Wiggett and Smith in the centre of defence. Seckleford has come in at right back because our main right back has picked himself up an injury. He's out for three to four months is Jordan Richards. So that's a very disappointing bit of news for him. He's out until the early part of next season. And then after that, we've got Mbala on the left-hand side. Wright and Simmons still in the middle. George Brown on the right-hand side for an unchanged midfield. And as ever, up top, it's Romain Mundell and Adam Marriott. The bookies, as you would expect, have us as heavy, heavy favourites. We are 2-5 to five on to win, considering we have won our last five games and Hales Owen have only won one of their last five. Here we are in the dressing room for a very important team talk. I'm going to go passionate. We can potentially clinch the title here. A few of them are motivated. Let's see if we can get any more. And yep, that is everybody bar Charlie Wiggett motivated. So let's go. Prediction time. 3-0. 3-0 I'm saying to us. Come on you Linux. Let's do it at the first attempt. Five minutes in. First highlight of the game. It's us with a throw in. David Mbala with the ball. Goes to Wilson. And Wilson on the left-hand side crosses it in, goes to Marriott, but it goes away. And Xavier Simmons with a thunderbolt of a goal from the edge of the box for his 12th of the season to give us a very early lead. This is exactly what we wanted from the start of the game. Wilson with a decent cross here. He was unlucky that he didn't really get to Marriott. But Simmons, again with a Lampard-esque goal, like I said in the last video, and he funded it home. Ten minutes in now. We've got another chance here. It's headed away. Goes to right. Can he cross it in? Nope. Goes to Smith. And Smith loses it out there. But we kind of win it back. But we don't do anything with it. And now Hales Owen just clear it. Wiggett with the ball. Goes to Wilson. He goes over the top. Marriott's in here. Marriott is in. And it's 2-0. No, it's not. Oh, he was just a tad offside. Oh, ho, ho. what a perfect start to the game that would have been. And oh, he's a hair offside. An absolute hair. Absolute hair? What else does that mean? Bad jokes. What are you on about, man? 22 minutes in now. Hales Owen with their first highlight. It's a corner that we've headed away. George Brown now coming forward. Can he find Marriott? Marriott needs to start making a run. George Brown is in the box all on his own. Can he drag it back? Nope, he can't do much with it and just gives it away. And now Snellgrove, he's passed it back. And oh, Marriott, what a chance that would have been. Oh, we are still going with the highlights here. Simmons back to Smith. Elliot heads away. George Brown plays it into the centre of the pitch. Mbala, can he get himself a goal? Or an assist. He's gone past his man. He's fallen into the box. And his shot has been saved by their keeper. One more highlight just before half time. Boston are winning in their game. So the title party might have to wait until the next game as things stand. Right with the ball goes out to the left. Mbala cuts inside. Goes through his man. And his shot has hit the post and gone out. We need a second goal. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. They might equalise here. And that is half time. We have had six shots with five on target. They've also had six, but none on target. But you know what FM is like. They're going to throw a late goal for Hales Owen at us. So we need to make sure we've got another one or another two before then. Let's go passionate. Still room for improvement. A few bits of reaction there. Can we get Marriott motivated? Yes, we can. Please get a goal, Marriott. Please. 68 minutes gone. First highlight of the second half. 
Bellore coming over the halfway line. Plays it long and De Silva's in. Oh no, this is a goal I told you about. No, it's not. Barnes with the save. Oh, I thought that was FM testing me then. 20 minutes left. De Silva coming forward with the ball. He's on the left-hand side. He's crossed it in. And it's Richardson. I told you. I told you FM was going to throw a late goal at us. Oh, no. We're going 4-4-2 now. You can bet anything we're going 4-4-2 now. De Silva with the cross. We all knew it was going to happen. And Richardson with the header. And our keeper unable to keep it out. Okay, so we're going with our usual two subs. Fielding is coming on for Mundell. And Fitchett is coming on for George Brown. Both of them did absolutely nothing in the game. And they're both finishing with a 6.3, which is very, very disappointing. And let's get Mbala and Fitchett on to attack and see if that can get us the winning goal we need. As things stand, there are only two points between us and Boston. Nervy, nervy times ahead unless we can get a winner here. Embala is into the box, he's gone for the shot and their keeper has pushed it over the bar and it's going to be a corner ball for David Embala himself to take. He crosses it in and Wiggett heads it, he, Wiggett gets it sorry, goes to Embala, into Wiggett on the edge of the box, his shot is blocked and Elliot clears. 10 minutes left now, Fitchett getting the ball for us, can he play it through to a man? He goes through to Fielding, who goes for the shot and the keeper's saved it. It's not going to happen today. It's not going to happen right now, is it, boys? Come on. Come on, Embala. Right onto somebody's head, please. Come on. He crosses it in and it's way too easy for their defence to deal with and fits it with one of the worst shots I've seen in a long time. Oh, it's them now with a cross and all oh, Richardson with the header. Oh, if we lose this game, oh, my heart is going to go through my nose. Two minutes left of normal time. Boston are free one up. They're not going to be losing their game. Wilson with it. Goes back to right. Embala's in space. But it goes to Marriott instead, who can't get onto it. Oh, he's won it back, though. He's crossed it in, and their man's cleared it. And now, oh, no, here we go. Hales Owen on the canter. But Shackleford plays it long. And um, Fitchett now picks it up. Simmons, Fitchett, Simmons, right. Marriott, why did he not make any effort to get onto that ball? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Very attacking may have been a mistake. Very attacking may have been a mistake. <sighs> oh, my days. It's then with a corner very quickly and we've cleared it off the line. Jarvis with the header and that goes over. Two minutes left. Two minutes left. Can we just at least get a draw? Oh my days. 30 seconds. Elliot with the long side. It's in the back of the net. Oh. Oh no. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Ben Elliott with a cracking goal, to be fair. Uh, what does that do to the league table? There's a point in it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's move very quickly on to the next game. Oh, my gosh. I'll be back with you guys in a minute for the next game. Let's at least go team talk first. Um, I'm going to go assertive. You weren't good enough today. Okay, see you in a minute for attempt number two at winning the league. All right, guys, we're back. It's time for the game against Chester. We're playing the same exact team as what lined up against Hales Owen in the last game. And Boston have already played their game two days ahead of us and they drew it. So as things stand, we are level on points with them. So a win today puts us four points clear of Boston and makes us league champions. 
So let's go and get into the game. Let's go team talk. And let's go. Uh, come on, lads. The title will be ours if we get a win. A few people motivated. Would have liked a few more. But okay. And now, yep. That's everyone but two motivated. I'll take that. And now prediction. 2-0. Two 2-0 nil. Two nil, I'm saying for us. Come on, Linux. First highlight of the game, three minutes in, it's the Chester keeper clearing the ball and Wilson brings it down, goes to Mbala, who's going to go back to Wilson, who goes centrally to Simmons, to right, and he goes back to Simmons, Mundell, he's got Mbala out wide in space, but nobody's looking for him, instead they've gone to George Brown, whose cross goes into the box, that's a beautiful cross, but Barker just, uh, just able to get there and to intercept. And now Kager with the ball to Coiner. Back to Kager. And I was told before the game started that Chester do like to dominate possession, just like we do. So it's going to be interesting to see who can get their foot on the ball the most. And Carnu's shot there is saved by our man Barnes. 32 minutes in, our first highlight of the game. It's headed away off the free kick and Wiggett's shot goes over the bar. We're not playing well right now, people. But oh, but now maybe we've got a bit of a boost now. Mundell to Wilson with the cross. Their man heads it away. George Brown has it. Goes to Simmons. Really would like the fullback to be overlapping here, but okay. Right. Into Mundell. Into Simmons. We're keeping the ball very nicely. As I say that, we give it away. And now Carnu on the canter. He's coming forward with it. Oh, no, 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 no. Carnu, he's going to cross it into the box, is he? No, he goes for the run and he puts it into the side netting. Well, that's half time. Not the best first half we've had all year. Chester have had six shots, two are three. Three on target, two are one. But we have won the possession battle, but not done a whole lot with it. So I'm going to go assertive. I'm going to go, you've not been good enough. And everyone's motivated. That's good to see. And now, let's go a bit more attacking. See if that helps us as well. Come on, just one goal. I would take a 1-0 win right now. Five minutes into the second half. Mundell with it. Goes to Sheckleford. And he goes over the top, but to absolutely nobody. Meeson collects it for Chester. Goes back to Barker. To Kager. And he goes over the top, but we get it back now, you would think. Yep, indeed we do. And Sheckleford goes to right. Can we get something going forward? No, we can't. Why are we going for the long balls? Makes absolutely no sense. And now Chester coming forward. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Carnu into Noble. And he's, oh my gosh, it's an own goal. It's going down as an own goal. It shouldn't do, but it's an own goal for Josh Barnes. We are behind. Oh, my gosh. Koya with the ball, got it through. Carnu played it to Noble. His shot hit the post, hit the keeper, and went in. We're bottling this, boys. We are bottling this, boys and girls. Just the one change this time. Tom Fielding coming on in place of Romaine Mundell. And I think we're going to go for longer passing. I know I've just said I don't really like us going for the longer balls. But the sort of passing is not working, is it? Oh, actually, I know what. I know what. Ha, ha, ha. I've just had a brainwave. Let's put the wing backs on attack. And let's see what that can do for us. And put the wingers on attack as well. See if that helps us out. Come on, come on, two goals. All I want for Christmas is two goals. Can't stop singing today. I don't know what's got into me. Glendon with a free kick for Chester. Goes to Taylor and it's 2-0. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is not doing my heart any good, boys. And was he offside? Taylor had the shot or the pass. And yeah, I think he was. 
15 minutes left. It's all Chester at the moment. We just can't get anything going. The corner's come in. We've headed it away, but not very far. Barker, two Ago with the long shot. It's blocked, but only goes to Glendon. Barker again. Noble to Barker. Come on, win it back. Close it down. Oh, thought we would have had it then. Mason to Barker. He goes out wide. And it's their man, Koya, to cross it in, you would think. Nope, that's been blocked. And Copping has crossed it in. And oh, what a save. Oh, I think our keeper's pushed that onto the bar there. All right then, 10 minutes just about left to go. We're making some changes. We're going for longer kicks, distribute it over the defence. And we're going with a higher line of engagement and a higher defensive line. A draw. A draw I would take right now. Wow. I said we might have three games for you today. And three games we've got. Can't believe how much we're bottling this. It's going to be a final day shootout. Who can get the better result? Us or Boston? We've not played well there at all. Let's go do the team talk. And then we'll come back for the last game of the season. Oh, my stress levels are through the roof. See you in a minute for the game against Murpha. Here we go, guys. One last game. One last chance to win the league. And just the one change in the team. Joshua Webb, he's only played four times for us this season. But Sheckleford wasn't doing too much for me at right back. So Joshua Webb has come in for him. And Tom Fielding has got an injury. So he's replaced on the bench by my main man, Terrell Whitaker. So let's hope he can get on and maybe do something. Let's go. Let's win the league. Here we are, guys. We're in the dressing room. Uh, let's say, go out there and impress me. Few of them are motivated. Can we get everybody motivated? Let's go end the team talk. Prediction, 1-0 us. I would take a dodgy 1-0 win right now. First highlight of the game, about 27 minutes in. But first thing to note is that Boston are losing to Chester. So as things stand, we are champions. But now Murphy coming forward with the ball. They go out wide, goes to McKendry. And is he going to cross it in? Yes, he is. And Robson with a header and we're behind. Oh, my dos. Oh, my days. We are still champions, but pretty much by default at the moment. What an Awful performance that we have had in this video. McKendry with the cross there. Robson with the header. Mm, I, I, I want to win the league by winning a game, please. That would be quite nice. And now half an hour gone. It's another highlight. And it looks like it's going to be another one for Murpha. And we hook the ball out. And is Webb going to be able to keep this in? Yes, he is just about... But he gives it away to McKendry. He's crossed it in again. It's Jenkins and it's 2-0. No. Oh, no. Oh, and Boston must be winning. Boston are either winning or drawing at the moment. Because we have fallen down to second. Oh, that intro. That intro seems so big-headed now. We had three chances to win the league and we have absolutely cacked it up. 35 minutes in. Murpha again with the ball. Samford coming forward. We need a goal before half time. Mbala gets it back. And can he cross it in? No, penalty! Penalty! Come on! Oh, apparently not. Murpha clear it. And Jenkins into Mohamed. And Arlock John, come and win the ball back off him, please. John to Samford. Wiggett gets it back. Wilson, Wiggett, play the ball forward. Forward, not that way, man. 
Barnes in his own box, taking his dear sweet time, goes out wide to Webb. And now goes out to the left, out to the right even, to George Brown. He goes over the top. Simmons is into the box. Can he cross it? He does. Goes to Marriott. And Marriott, yes! 45th goal of the season. And he might not get any more important than that one. Come on, Adam Marriott. Drag us back to the league title, please. Simmons with a beautiful pass there. Marriott hitting it first time. The comeback is on, lads. Oh, my days. It's half-time. It's half-time. It's 2-1 still to Murtha. We've had seven shots to their five. Four on target to their three. And we've dominated possession. We're going to leave it like this for 10 minutes and then we're going to see about going 4-4-2 and maybe pushing the wingers up as well because we have got nothing to lose at the moment and only a few people reacting to us saying we've got to do better okay there we go come on even just a draw would give us the league now so come on Okay, 15 minutes gone in the second half. No highlights. So we're going with the 4-2-4. And we're going for longer passing. And hit early crosses. And just see what that does. Oh, biggest bottling ever if we don't win it from here. 25 minutes just about left. Mbala with a corner for us. Bodenan heads it away and... Everyone on our team just runs away from the ball. What on earth is that about? 15 minutes left. Oh my gosh. Martha, Murphy have got a corner. Simmons heads away and it's no. We've lost it. We've lost it. Oh. <coughs> oh my throat's going. Oh, too much singing. Too much shouting. Too much talking. I'm going to be very, very quiet tonight. Oh, we've lost the league. It's playoffs. I've just realised we're going to be in the playoffs. We might not get promoted. Oh, no. How can we not get promoted after the season we've had? Oh, my days. Mbala getting into the box. Is the comeback on? No, of course it's not. Oh my gosh, playoffs it is. Before today's video, we'd lost two games all season. Now we've lost five and we've lost the league by three points to our biggest rivals. Oh, we have absolutely bottled it. 14 shots we had to their 13. Eight on target to five. And ah, oh, I'm going to go aggressive. It's unacceptable. And most of them are motivated. And oh my gosh. All right, and guys, this video has been plenty long enough. So we're going to leave it there. If you've enjoyed that video, Pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Even if you just enjoyed the intro. Pop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content. Just like this one. Follow me on Twitter. At Bad Jokes Gaming. Uh, Passion for FM. Check them out. Check their website out. Their Twitter, Facebook. Everything. Discord. All of that good stuff. Oh details are going to be down below and yeah okay guys i guess i'm going to be back for you tomorrow for the playoffs see you then bye